are using is Xerox copy machine. You really need to think about that the default settings for copying are really made for a black and white ink original, not so much for a pencil created hand drafted drawing. So you have to be the intelligent person and be able to look at the machine and figure out its settings, run some test prints, and then to make a modifications of its settings. The paper size that's used for this class is actually 12 inches by 18 inches. You may be watching this video and applying it to other classes. You're going to have to think, again, critical thinker about the size of your paper and what are the options in terms of output for the particular copier you're looking for. The largest output size that we have from this copier is 11 by 17. When you look at this, you can see that there will be a cutoff. We want to think about where that cutoff is going to occur. You don't want to place the original on the copy surface so that the cutoff is just one inch off of one end and one inch off the other. From the borderline, top to bottom, it's 11. And from borderline, left to right, it's 17. So we really want the output to be such that we evenly cut off a half an inch of the original all the way around. And I like to look first to see if there's an arrow somewhere in the machine. That's usually an indication of the inside corner where the paper needs to come up. What you want to remember is you're always going to look at the glass, make sure the glass is clean from a transparent original. Anything that shows up behind this is going to come through onto the Xerox copy. I always take a blank piece of white copy paper and I place it on top of my original so that I have a clean surface. You're going to want to pick the paper up. You're going to want to line the border lines underneath with the edge of the copy surface. And then you're going to want to straighten it on the glass surface. And the last thing is you want to cover it with a clean piece of white copy paper. And then close the lid on the copier. And on this first tab it says copy. Far right we have paper supplies and we're going to set it to 11 by 17 and we're going to run one copy that's going to be a black and white copy then we're going to run a second copy that's going to be a color copy so we can compare the two. What you're trying to achieve as much as possible is you want your pencil line work, your final dark line work to come out as close to as black as ink. You want any of the guidelines to fade away as much as possible and if there's any smearing or background you don't want to see this as much. Color copy is coming out too light. I'm going to go back to the black and white and I'm going to make some setting changes. I'm going to come into my color options. I'm going to go to black and white and then what I want to do is I want to start doing an image adjustment. I'm going to do image quality. I can adjust and make my copy lighter or I can make it darker. There's something called background suppression and auto contrast. The background suppression is going to take, if your original has some smudging or some darkness to it, it's going to make that a little bit less. I'm going to put this all the way to the darkest setting. This is black and white, normal in terms of lightness and darkness. Color copy, black and white, darkest setting. That is a black and white darkest setting, background suppression on. So in this case, for your particular drawing, I would use a black and white darkest setting, no background suppression. I'd rather have the line work be dark and see a little bit of guidelines than see no guidelines and really uh, 
problems with the line work not coming up correctly. Okay. 